Um, I've been out of, well, I want to have been out of football for a while, you know. Oh, I spent all last season uh, scouting for Scunford United through my great friend uh, Lee Turnbull. And, you know, I had a, a good year out of football, nice, stress free, just going to watch games, watching players. But then you got the urge sometimes, I think, I wish I could be in that dugout. And, uh, you know, I've had a relationship with Rob. Rob the chairman for about a year and a half now and obviously he knew me from when I was manager at Gainsborough and uh, you know he, he got me on board about a year and a half ago just just rang me up and um, asked if I'd come and you know help Sam out Sam Wilkinson out at the time and you know I I was doing a lot of radio commentary for, for Scunthorpe then as well. I said, look, I can't commit full time. I will do my best. I'd, I'd like to help you know, the local clubs out with the experience I've had as, as a manager. And, you know, I, I worked well with Sam. Um, you know, I'm a bit disappointed with the comments that he made after. But, you know, uh, I, you know I, I came in and I enjoyed my time just watching the games. And if Sam, Neither out, he rang me up and we had a good chat um, and discussed a lot of things and he went on a good run after that. Um, but at the time I was never really interested in the manager's job. I just wanted to help Sam because he's a good lad and uh, you know he, he turned the results around towards the end and hopefully that I gave him uh, some good advice more than just saying well done. Um, and it helped him along the way because um, we had some positive chats. And like I say, last year I had a good year of scouting. Um, and then uh, I see that Sam resigned and Rob, Rob gave me the call. Uh, Rob and Ian uh, Bowman gave me the call. And I was on an iron because, you know, as a as a person I've been involved in football for a long, long time, you know, good 30 years and, you know, some people who come in and take over football clubs, you know, sometimes you fall out of love with the game because these people have never had anything to do with football and they killed it and, you know, and I just wanted time off and when Rob gave me the call after Sam had uh, resigned, like I say, it took me a, long, a, a while to think about it um, and then my new assistant Nathan Jarman was deadly keen um, to come as a player and to learn the ropes as well. Um, so I said, yeah, let's give it a go and um, got back to Rob and said, you know, I think it was about February, March time, um, we agreed to the to come to Lincoln United, but obviously we had our ties. Nathan still had his uh, still playing for Mickelover, wanted to save them from relegation, and I had my scouting role at Scunthorpe that I wanted to for, fulfil. Um, so we agreed that we'll uh, we'll come the new season, and here we are now, ready and raring to go. I'm one of them, uh, you know, we had a meeting last week, uh, the presentation night, before we met the, the players on the presentation night with all the, the volunteers and board members. I like to get involved with them. I'm not just, uh, I'm not just here to uh, sort my team out and just put you to one side. I like to mix with everybody. I'm, I'm a, you know, a fans manager, you know, if they want to talk to me. I'm always there to talk to and I will go up and talk to them. You'll see me in and about everywhere, not just on the pitch or in the dugout, talking to them my players. Um, I've already given some ideas to the chairman regarding sponsorships. What I've learned over my years of football, how to, uh, you know, because I started my career at this level with Town Football Club and I know how difficult it is for small clubs to, to raise funds. So, I've been at sort of higher levels and I've learned a lot regarding uh, you know mixing with everybody. Um, 
I like to get a lot of you know the local schools, football, the, the kids involved. Um, you know, it's like I said at the meeting um, regarding all the volunteers. It's a good run club. Can we step it up to another level? And I'll be, you know, not just with my players, but trying to help the uh, the whole club out as well. Ideally, you want to try and get down and play, and you know, pass the ball about. I know we've got some good players in. You know, I've worked with John O. Williams before, and he's I, I call him the Glen Oddell of non-league football because you know he can pass a ball. Um, but sometimes the old saying, horses for courses, you know, you come on a cobble street and you might have to sacrifice that and be more bullish. Um, but generally I just want my team to work hard, show the fans that they, you know, if, if we lose a game, I want the fans to come away, so at least they put a shift in and give it their all. You know, there's, there's no way that I would let them walk away and, um, you know, be ashamed of what they've just seen on the pitch. My, my teams all work hard for the fans and for themselves as well because you know I'll be hoping to bring some younger kids in who've been released from uh, clubs and give them another lifeline and that's what I've done at previous clubs I've been at and some of them now got back in the football league and progressing really well it's, which is pleasing so you know like I say it's horses for courses. Ideally, we want to go out there and play, but basically, we'll be here to work hard. You'd like to nick 8,000 fans off Lincoln City, you know, but it's, it's never going to happen. I mean, they've done a tremendous job down there, and that's what we're up against. I mean, we have changed the the evening games to a Monday night because, you know, like I say, Lincoln City is a massive club now and if we clash with them, you're not going to get anyone through the gate, even if you're top of the league, you know, you're going to get your hundreds, uh, that's it. Um, so we've changed the night to a Monday night, you know, so it don't, doesn't clash with Champions League on a Tuesday, Wednesday because on a, a cold, frosty night, you know, it's you're going to choose to sit in a bar or out um, watching that rather than come watch Lincoln United. Even if we was top of the league, they'd still choose the Champions League. So Monday night, I find, you know, it's a free night for everyone. Not many teams play on a Monday night. Um, will it affect us? It's the same for both teams. The other teams got to come here. You know, I know it's only 48 hours rest, but you know, in, in my day in the night is, you know, we used to play Saturday and the day after around Christmas time and all these people moaning about um, too many games in short spaces you should go out there and enjoy it you know it's great football's great so that's one change um, like I said I've mentioned the changes that I've, I've spoke to the board and the volunteers about about raising money and you know doing things like that so I will be interacting not just with my players, but with the board as well, to give them ideas of different things we I've come across in my career. Um, basically, getting kids involved. You know, um, I want letters and all that um, out to all the, the kids' football teams. Obviously, let's like, say if you're a kid, you're going to choose Lincoln City, but. If we can get our letters out there, because to me, kids, whether it's Lincoln United, Lincoln City, a big stadium, they love to be on a football pitch. And we've got to try and generate that here as well. And if you get the kids coming through, you get the parents coming through, you get photos taken, so proud of their kids being on a, a, on a football pitch. Um, you know, I want them, I want team little kids teams to line up as the players come out you know make it a special day for the kids and it'll uh, you know it'll it'll bring more more parents on here and the kids as well
Well, the, the, the chairman and Ian didn't put any pressure on us at all, but I put pressure on myself and me and Nathan. Um, we want to push for playoffs. You know, I've done Link United to be in the the Northern Northern Prem um, in in my playing days, and you know, my aim is to try and get them back there. Whether it be this season or the season after, you know, we, we just don't know. But my ambitions are to hit the ground running and uh, try and do the best we can to at least get minimum playoffs this year. And yeah, you know, football is not pressure. You know, there's a lot of things going away from football. That's pressure. You know, to me, I come with a smile on my face to football. It's uh, and so should the players. They're out there working every day. Football's fun, and that's what I'll make it. And it makes the players play a bit better as well. And like I said, we'll we'll, we'll do the best we can. And I will not put pressure on anybody at this place. Going back to this level. I don't, I don't see much difference, you know, I'll still work the same. Um, might find it difficult getting the quality of player that you do get when you're in the Conference North or the National Prem, when you're talking to the, the clubs, i.e. Scunthorpe, Lincoln City, asking for sort of players. When you're in the National Prem you'll get seasoned pros or second year pros, third year pros. Conference North, you might get the old first year pro and the second year YT, when you're at this level you'll probably get the kids, which I don't mind because I, I like working with the kids and developing them because you know you go watch a lot of under 23 games and there's, yeah, they're not worth it, you, to me you know you've got to go out there and play men's football so hopefully I'll, uh, I'll talk to a few people um, and invite them that I can uh, sort of develop them into the, the men's style of football as well. Too long. He's, you know, Nathan's a great kid. Um, I have known him for a while, a long time. I've tried to get him, obviously, at Gainsborough for, for a while because every time he played against us, he you know, I can remember scoring that trick of penalties against us, scoring a vital equaliser in an FA Cup for Chester against us. Um, but when I signed him, he never scored for me for some reason, but he, he always scored against me. But no, he's a great kid. You know, he's he's got a big heart, a massive heart. You know, you'll see him out there and people say he's an aggressive guy, but, you know, off the field, one of the best guys you, you will ever meet and talk to um, on the field. He's just full full of uh, energy, massive heart, and he, he works his socks off. You know, as a manager, I can manage him. As a fan, you'll see him and you'll think, you know, he's crazy that kid, but he's not. He's not. He, he just he's just a born winner, and that's basically why I brought him as well. You know, he's he wants to learn the management side of it, but he's still got the playing side of it in him. And you know, you will see him on there, um, trying everything that he can to win a game of football, and he will. Um, and he's, you know, he, like you say, he might come across as an angry person, but he's not. He's just a born winner and a great kid, and I'm delighted to have him on board.